So this, uh, so this telephoto lens, 55 to 250, I really, really like it, and, uh, it's, you know, it's basic, you know, for $160 with free shipping, you, you can't really go wrong, it's just, it's basic, it's normal, it's nice, it's not, it's not even too big, you know, it's, it is a little bit heavier, but, you know, it's a freaking camera, you know, it's a actual camera, it's not your phone, it's something that's going to take way better images, um, it's actually really hard to explain why the images on this thing are actually better than with your phone. But uh, I think it's just the different options. With the manual focus, um, where you just move this outer ring and you can have it foreground or background focus, it's, uh, you can't, you, you it, you can do digital um, focusing and stuff on a uh, cell phone, on a on a uh, smartphone, but it just does it digitally. It doesn't do it physically like an actual camera like this does. Um, so I really like this camera. I've gotten used to where this is. I've gotten used to where the on-off switch and stuff is. Um, I've gotten used to holding AV and then turning this to change uh, the settings when I'm in uh, when I'm in P mode. Um, all of these ones, the, uh, the you know the plant, the uh, the running one, the scene mode, the uh, you know you know the picture of if you want to take pictures of mountains or faces or Canada, or turn your flash off, um, and you don't, if you don't really know how to use a camera, you're going to use those ones, and you're going to be limited to sRGB, um, your color space will be, uh, limited, very, very limited, um, I can't remember what it is, if it's two-thirds or one-third, but it's, you're, you're losing at least one third of the colors that you could be taking. Now, if you're buying a camera that is, um, let's see here, at least $550. I bought this turd when I was on vacation and I paid, um, let's see here, too much. I was uh, in the West, I was on vacation and I just said, dude, I need a freaking camera that's gonna be better than the one that I have. And the one that uh, my parents got was a uh, Canon Rebel uh, XLS, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. But it was, it was, you know, it was like, it was at least eight years old, probably a full decade old, and it just needed to be replaced. Next you know, it was like eight years, yeah. Wasn't a full decade because this thing, this thing's already, you know, this thing was made in 2013. It was first produced in 2013. I did not get it until probably 2015. So I've had it for almost three years now, but it's an old turd and it. So this this thing it only has a uh, 18 megapixel sensor, and they say that on cameras like this, on these big DSLRs, they the the actual the actual sensor that's inside of the camera body, um, it's actually so it's. What is it? So on, on your cell phone, it's teeny tiny. It's like a millimeter. On this thing, it's like 18 millimeters. So it's at least 18 times larger. Um, and, you know, if you're just doing just regular crap, maybe you don't really care. 
and you're just using your cell phone, that's fine. Uh, but if you want to uh, get pictures that you can not take with your phone, you have to have a DSLR. Uh, point and shoots are garbage. Never buy a point and shoot. I would never recommend one. Your camera has a point and shoot built into it. Um, it's even better than a point and shoot. Um, so I was looking at it and point and shoot cameras uh, have actually dropped down to basically zero um, within the last like just a couple years I think like within five years within the last five years it's dropped to zero from like millions so you know now there's just DSLRs and cell phones that's it if you're I have been looking at uh, so I took a look at the Canon I think it's Canon, uh, C1, C100, there's C100, there's C200, C300, um, those cameras are massive, and they are like 3,000, no, they're more than that, I don't know, they have to be more than 3,000, because a commercial, and a commercial camera that looks just like this, except it has all the information up here, rather than down here, what I'm talking about is all this information. P I meant P. Man, focus. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Slides. Oh, oh this thing's got 12,800. I guess so. Because uh, the, uh, for the SL2, it, uh, it has like 2,400, 2,500. So it's not, you know, it's just one step higher. So, you know, who cares? Uh, oh, look at that. I can take 3,000 more images. It's freaking awesome. I don't know why it's blinking. It probably just doesn't like me. Um, let's see here. I don't know why. Oh, it's angry. Yeah, I have no idea. So yeah. So here's a picture of my uh, my sad dog. We got a big cage for her inside the house, and uh, you know, just so she's not locked in a small cage like that. So yeah, pretty fun. Hit info. Now you get all this information. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at that. You're a computer geek. You're going to love this. Oh, my gosh. You got numbers. You got your uh, your color space. You've got, uh, oh, oh, look, that smooth line. If that's a crooked line, then it's not smooth, and it's going to take about, like, half or maybe a third of the data. And L, that means large. So this is the biggest file that you can take. This one is about 8 megabytes. Um... You know, more data is better because it looks better. When you upload it to YouTube, you'll call it HD. Uh, my cell phone, this cell phone is the Galaxy S8 Plus. It can do uh, full HD. Um, so it's, you know, spec-wise, if you look at some specs, uh, it's about the same, uh, if not better than... Uh, in these cameras. Um, but you cannot adjust all this cool stuff. Um, well, you can do that. So that's making it brighter or darker. Let me show you. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, so that thing right there. So it's making it lighter or darker. to autofocus. It did not work. It is very angry at me now. Let's flip it back to manual focus. Look at that, look at that. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's still very, very angry. It is 